Hi, everybody. I uh, We are on the last uh, page for our 3D shapes. Our 3D shapes um, are big. They're fat. They are not a flat shape. They are fat and not flat. They are three-dimensional. And you can hold them in your hands. Here we have a cone. A cone is like a party hat. It has a flat circle on the bottom, just like, let's see, just like a regular circle, right? So the bottom of a cone is the circle, and at the top we call that the apex, A-P-E-X. Now, some people call the apex a corner, but the proper um, terminology for a cone is one point at the top, and that is the apex. It is round. It can roll, okay? It can also slide when it's standing up and down. It can slide across. Here we have a rectangular prism. It has one, two, three, four, and then five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve 10, 11, 12 edges. A rectangular prism has 12 edges and it has one, two, three, four, five, six faces. So let's look at our rectangular prism here. I've got one, so the face is the flat shape across the top. So one, two flat, three, four, five, six. So there are six flat faces on a rectangular prism, okay? A sphere does not have any faces at all. A sphere is kind of like a ball, okay? A sphere is round. It has no edges, no corners, no faces, okay? It can roll, it can bounce. It does not slide, it rolls, okay? Here, if we're going to look, and then we have our cube, which has the same amount of faces and edges as a rectangular prism, but all of the sides are equal. And a cylinder is like my cup. This roll of toilet paper is in the shape of a cylinder. You can kind of see this shape here is like a cylinder with some sort of cone shape at the top. This is another cylinder, okay? It's got one, two flat faces, and it can slide. It'll slide, and it will also roll, okay? So let's look at this. It says, make a check if true. Make an X if it is not true. So here is a cylinder, okay? A cylinder has one, two faces. It has a top and a bottom, okay? And it did not say write the number two. It said make a check if that is true, and that is true. Does a cylinder have any straight edges? Well, if we look at our cylinder, there's no straight edges. It has an edge that's here, but that is a round edge. This is not a straight edge. A straight edge would be like this way or this way, okay? Straight. It does not curve. So this is not true. A cylinder does not have straight edges, okay? The next part is a cube. A cube has zero straight edges. Well, let's think of a dice, okay? This is a this is a rectangular prism, okay? And it says zero straight edges. Well, it has one, two, three, four, the four straight edges on top, and one, two, three, four straight edges on bottom, and then five, six, seven, eight. There are actually eight straight edges in a cube. This is not correct. 
I'm going to put the correct answer. It has eight straight edges. Here it says a cube has six square faces. Let's count. Now, even though this is a rectangular prism, a rectangular prism and a cube will have the same amount of square faces. It will have the top and the bottom. And then, so one, two, and then the four around the edges. Three, four, five, six. So there are six square faces. That is correct. I'm going to put a check. Down here it says a cone has one circle. Okay, what does it have? It has one circle face. It doesn't have a circle, just a circle. It has a circle face, right? It has one flat circle face, okay? A rectangular prism has six faces. Again, count them with me. We have the top and the bottom, one, two, Three, four, five, six. It has six faces. And a sphere, which is like a ball. I'm going to put these motion marks here so it looks like it's moving or rolling. Okay? So a sphere has zero faces because it is round all the way around. Remember, a face is a flat side. Okay? Let's count backwards by ten. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0.